Elephant and Crocodile by Max Feltes. Crocodile was a musician. He played the violin and he practiced all day, every day, until late into the night. It gave him great satisfaction. However, it was no fun for his neighbor hearing the same tune over and over again with wrong notes too, got on Elephant's nerves. One day, he could bear it no longer. He went round to Crocodile's place to complain. But Crocodile said he was an artist. I can't live without my music, he told Elephant. Elephant went home, feeling depressed. That evening, Crocodile played his violin again. As usual, he played until late into the night. And so it went on. Crocodile played his violin out of tune and it got on Elephant's nerves. Elephant couldn't read anymore. He couldn't sleep either. In fact, all the pleasure had gone out of Elephant's life and he went to the doctor about his poor nerves. The doctor prescribed peace and quiet and some nasty medicine. But once Elephant was home, Crocodile's wrong notes got on his nerves worse than ever. How nice to be an artist like Crocodile, he thought. And then Elephant thought all of a sudden, well, why not? Who knows? Maybe I'm an artist too. He went to town all excited and bought himself a beautiful shiny brass trumpet. He had wanted a trumpet like that ever since he was little. That evening he began to practice. Oh, what fun it was! Elephant was quite surprised by his own musical gifts. He played and played until late into the night. Crocodile, who had just been learning a violin sonata by Mozart, was very surprised when he suddenly heard a terrible noise next door. What's going on? he shouted angrily. Elephant must be off his head, he thought. He went round to Elephant's place at once. Stop that noise at once, said Crocodile furiously. You're ruining my music. But Elephant didn't turn a hair. My dear crocodile, he said, I'm sorry, but you see, I'm an artist too. I can't live without my trumpet. Poor crocodile, he couldn't play music anymore. Elephant's trumpet was too loud. Crocodile could hardly hear his own violin. Elephant, on the other hand, was fine. Discovering his musical talent had changed him completely. He let his hair grow and wore the sort of clothes that everybody noticed. He was as happy as the day is long. And he had more fun than ever blowing his shiny brass trumpet. Crocodile did his best to drown out elephant's noise with saucepan lids, which meant Elephant had blown louder than ever, and so the two neighbours went on annoying each other. In desperation, Crocodile started using his pneumatic drill. The noise was too much for Elephant. He collapsed on the floor in a fright. This time, Crocodile had gone too far. Elephant took his sledgehammer and hit the wall as hard as he could, again and again. The wall couldn't stand up to that. It fell down with a loud crash. There stood the two artists face to face, looking very surprised. I, I, I didn't mean that to happen, stammered Elephant. C uh, can I offer you a cup of tea? So the neighbours had tea and discussed their love of music. 
I know, said an elephant. Why don't we play together? What a good idea, said Crocodile. He went straight off to fetch his violin, which was underneath the rubble. Then the two of them played music together in perfect time. One, two, three, four. They played for hours. They played for weeks. They got better and better. It was lovely. They became famous for their duets all over the world and they lived happily together ever after. They never rebuilt the wall. They didn't need it now. Okay.